what's going on guys welcome back to the channel time to talk a tweak so for those who jailbreak their devices on the boat the uncover and the check crane for ios 13 up to 13.5 those cd tweaks will be for you so before i'm gonna be start today's video let me ask you guys if you can give the video a big thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever i release a new cd tweaks video okay so let's go ahead right now to start talking about today's tweaks and number one on my list will be the nore this is will be about your dark and the light mode so if you want to switch on or off right away from your cc it is available here what about if you under the settings how you can do that so if you want to bring it down or slide down just like that this will be allow you to turn or toggle off the dark mode light mode just like that let me show you guys once again on the settings just like that once again just like that this is how you change the dark mode into the light mode from the settings just like that so once you download the tweak that we doesn't have anything to configure just go ahead download the tweak after you complete the uh, download then go ahead resetting your device and once you go into your settings you want to uh, launch or turn off the dark mode just go ahead and swipe down just like that this will be allow you to turn off your dark mode if you want the light mode just like that once again guys this one will be called the nore let's move on right now to talking about the other cd tweak and the other one will be called the settings widgets this will be for your settings as well and if i go ahead right now and navigate to my under the settings here you guys can take a look what i have here at the top this is the my battery here if i top on it and this is my storage right there this is the boat the widgets will be at the top on my settings so once you download the tweak, go ahead first of all and enable the tweak, the transparent background if you want to toggle, untoggle that and the widget height if how much you want it, it's going to be up to you so you can use the slider right there. So you have two different kind of design of widget, you have widget 1, widget 2, you can customize those. So you might uh, see right now if I want to go back right now here to show you guys I have the battery. So I can switch that into other uh, widget if I want to. For example, I can switch to my storage or if I want to switch into my Wi-Fi. And the same thing with my other widget. So widget number two, I can switch that into my battery health or the storage or the Wi-Fi, the same thing. If you want to make some kind of uh, configuration stuff, you want to change something, you might need to top on the apply here at the top this will be uh, apply all the changes for you and you will be good to go let me show you guys once again how is that will be work and this is what the tweak it's all about bring those the both uh, widgets will be at the top and if you guys looking to download this one as i told you guys this one will be called the settings widgets moving right now to talking about the other cd tweak that i want to share with you guys in today's video and let me talking about the multiple you can see right now here that i already and I still i'm using my floating dock here and it works just fine with my setup here so if i want to swipe on it i can switch into my audio my battery here my watch and some other stuff just like that i can just stop and hold to uh, lock all the apps on my deck here and this is what the tweak it's all about if we go ahead right now and navigate to under the settings the first thing that you need to do to enable the tweak the user guide here if you want to, to uh, read about the tweak how is the tweak will be work you can read the guide here this is going to be for you select the widgets which is the one that i already shown you which you can choose your music you can choose your battery your activity something like that you can choose from there and also you have the gesture here so if you tap on it this will be giving you three different kind of uh, configuration which is swipe up down swipe left right the double top this will be for that uh, gesture and the animation here so you have up down left right and the fade the one that i use it's a fade and also we have the uh animation 
duration here the slider if you want to adjust that way also we have another section if you want the long press to lock the DAC which is the one that I show you already hide the lock icon if you want to toggle untoggle DAC and also we have another section if you want to refresh rate so you can keep that it's gonna be up to you but I keep it on default or never and also we have another uh, section to rotate widgets uh, instead of refreshing if you want to toggle that and toggle that the way you like but I highly recommend you guys to read every single thing before you toggle any kind of section also we have another section if you want to talking about the uh, applications here or the talking about the normal page dots position also we have another section for hide the DAC page labels and if you want to hide the page dots and also the dark theme you can toggle and toggle each single one if you like to and also we have other section if you want to dot icon limit if you want to toggle that and we have another section for the music widget if you want to the work corner reduce if you want to toggle that once you toggle this one from here this will be allow you how much you want it if you want to play with this one and we have the uh, application to open how much you want to open it if no uh, playing or you want to top here this will be allow you and show you if you want to place this one with the app store or the app music spotify and so on even with youtube so i keep it with youtube okay so if we go back right now here we have the show music road so you can toggle and toggle that and also we have the other section will be for my battery widget so i can keep or remove the percent inside the battery icon you can toggle those and toggle those the way you like the last section will be for your weather widgets so you can top on here this will be allow you and giving you a different kind of uh, customize the stuff we have couple ones here you can choose your favor once you're done you need to make sure to respring your device so your device will be take the effect now there's one things that I want to uh, just giving you guys attention on it and that will be the gesture so if you want that tweak to work with a floating DAC because once I download a tweak it didn't work so I go back into my floating deck here and I top on it and there is one of the section will be for your gesture you can take a look the DAC gesture I toggle that off so you need to make sure if you want to download the uh, multiple and you want that tweak to work with a floating DAC if you download the floating DAC uh, tweak just make sure from the floating DAC tweak go to configuration you need to make sure to turn off the DAC gesture go back and you need to go to multiple here the same tweak that I told you guys about it and you can right now select any kind of widget and you can go into the gesture here and then you can keep it for example on a swipe up down you can choose the swipe left right or double top on it I told you already that I download the floating deck right now and once the developer he says he released the new update which is will be work with a floating deck so I can swipe right now and then you can take a look right now how smooth that is and nice to work and match everything on my iPhone this is what the tweak will be provide you with and once again this one if you're looking to download it in your iDevice this one will be called the multiple moving right now to talking about the other one the other one is going to be a mask or a theme it's going to be for your settings if i want to go back right now here you guys can take a look for those the orange dots that i have here the most of the things in your settings if you want to change it to that style go ahead and download the ew1 this is the settings icon so once you download this one you need two different things one of them is going to be if you have the snowboard then you need to download the snowboard icon extension if you don't uh, run the snowboard in your iDevice then you might use the iThemer so if you use the iThemer it's going to be work but if you are running the snowboard you need to make sure to download the snowboard icon extension 
and this is the style how is that will be looks like how we will be apply that so once you download the tweak go ahead right now to the snowboard as i told you guys in my case here i download the snowboard go ahead and tap on it and select the theme from in there this is the one that i told you guys about it which is the settings icon or the ew settings icon so once you tap on enable this is how it's going to be looks like let me show you guys once again if i go back just like that this is how is the icon or the some of the icon inside your settings will be just like that so once again guys if you guys looking to uh, make your settings different with that a mask or the icon theme inside your settings go ahead and download the ew1 settings icon let's move on right now to talking about the other one and i have another widget that i want to share with you guys let me just go ahead right now and go right away into the x html so let me just stop on it here and let me choose the lock screen and let me just stop here right now and the name for this one will be the notch square if i go ahead and top on it you guys can take a look it's kind of like a iphone design it comes with a notch and this is the most of the things comes with that widget once you want to download it in your iphone of course if you're using the accent html if we go ahead right now and top on the settings of that widget let's see what we have so you will be able to change or toggle the color and there is some other stuff like the city name or the language or the time color you will be able to change that the today uh, color you can change that name unname and the other customized stuff for the temp tier for example and even for the skill i tried to play with the skill which will uh, didn't give me any kind of other skill so i highly recommend you guys to keep it on skill number one if you want to make any kind of like configuration from here you need to make sure to tap on save here at the top and this is how is that widget will be looks like once you want to download that widget in your jello broken device once again guys this one will be called the notch square Anyway guys, this is the most tweak that I have for you guys in today's video, in today's update. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. I hope you guys enjoy most of the tweaks that I show you already. So if you guys like the video, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will be notified always whenever I release a new CDA Tweaks video. Catch you with the next one. Peace out.